I'm back for this is activity number two for our pumpkin themed activity weekend getting ready for fall. Today we're going to talk about advanced opposites. There is a whole theme in my preschool curriculum about advanced opposites um, and this is going to give you a sneak peek into that. So we're going to use pumpkins today and that's all you need. You need two pumpkins. They could be big, they could be little, whatever you want. But we're going to talk about adding some new words to your child's vocabulary. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to follow me. I am going to take these two pumpkins right here and I am going to talk about opposites. So they look the same, right? They are both pumpkins and they're both small. And that is okay because we're going to talk about um, opposites that are a greater level than just colors or how they feel or textures. Um, we're going to talk about positioning. So there's different things you can do. Now when you decide whatever opposites you're going to do, I'm going to put some comments um, above this photo giving you some ideas of what opposites you can use um, to do this activity with your child. So what I'm going to do first is just show you up and down. These are positional words. This pumpkin is up. The opposite of that pumpkin is down. So what I want you to do is ask your child, which pumpkin is up, which pumpkin is down? And then I want you to have your child ask you those same questions. So the child can say, Mom, which pumpkin is up? And I'm going to point to the up. Mom, which pumpkin is down? And I'm going to point to the pumpkin down. So I did it first. It's their job to do it after me. So we're adding some new vocabulary to their, their vocabulary, basically. Some new words. So the other one that is fun is if the, your child is sitting here, I am going to put a pumpkin near and a pumpkin far. And my dog's over here in the video. Um, can I ignore her? So the pumpkin is near the child and far away from the child. So those are two positional words that you need to use your eyes to see. Near, far. Okay? We're going to repeat that again. I'm going to say near and far, and then I want the child to ask me which one's near and which one's far. What happens if they change position and she, your child is over here. Now this one's all of a sudden near and this one's far. So it gives us an idea of what all these words mean and how they can be interchangeable. Something else that is fun to do is upside down and right side up. Upside down and right side up. So what I'm going to do is put a whole bunch of different words and different vocabulary you could do as far as positional words um, in the comments that you can do these with your child. So let's learn some pumpkin vocabulary together. Have a great day and look forward to um, showing you some more pumpkin activities soon. Bye.